And off we go. It's Mr. C here from Dividend. In this video, we are looking at the pricing tables, which are part of the unicorn bundle. We've got one of four to choose from. I'm showing you what they look like quickly. Always there's one that stands out and that hopefully drives clients to pick those. You've seen them all over the place. We've given you uh, four nice options to choose from, some that are bold, some that are more subtle, and this one is pretty much similar. This give you, gives you the option to just change the color over here. Maybe this one will be a different color and you can play around with titles and rollovers and you can just be creative as you need. So let's go and import uh, one of these and see how that works. Let's go to the dashboard of your site you want to use, then Divi, Divi library, then import export. Then we want to click import again and then we choose the file. So in the zip file, we've got the pricing tables Divi layout kit and we've got the master JSON file, which imports all of them. We've got the master CSS, all the CSS combined, also separated into one to four. So you can pick any particular one. And we've also got a PNG file in each of them so that you can identify which one it is uh, quite easily. So we also have the Photoshop file so you can customize it and send your client a sample of what it might look like before you update it the way you need to. Let's import this big one over here. Let's click import, wait for it to import and then we're just going to create a page and install one of those so you can see what it looks like. I'm just going to copy this text over here quickly. I'm going to use that to create a page. Pages, add new, and then we go test, paste that in there. Yes, use the Divi Builder, pick a blank template without a header and a footer. And then we go add from library. Let's uh, add, which was the nice one that I liked. I like number two. And let's add another one from the library. Why not just add number one? So we got number two and one in there. Let's hit the publish button and then we can go and take a look at the page. And there they are. As you can see, we are missing a few things. We're missing the icons. We're missing the uh, rollovers. We're missing the responsive styles. There's a whole bunch of things missing and that's because we need to add the CSS code. So we've got Divi theme options we want to go to and then if you scroll to the bottom there's a section for custom css of course you can add this to your style.css file and this is another way to do the same thing so you navigate again to your file uh, zip file and then you want to open the css file master we're doing in this case we're going to copy all of this i suppose we can just do control a control c and then we want to paste it into the custom CSS section. Then we click save. Then we still have one more step where we want to get those little font icons. So we need to go back to the CSS file. Let's just open that once more. And then you'll notice right at the top, we've made it easy. You can see here on line six, font awesome code to add to Divi theme options integration. And there's a opening bracket here and it goes all the way through to a closing bracket where it ends anonymous you can just copy that let me show you where to add that into the theme options you want to go to divi theme options and then integration and then scroll to add code to the head of your blog so this is the link to grab the font awesome fonts so once that's in you just click save changes and now we can go back and we can reload this page there we go and you can see it's all there all the styles are working and 
our responsive should be working perfectly as well. Now, the question you might be asking is, how do we change these colors? Uh, there's two ways you can do it. Uh, and in most cases, you need to do it in both. It depends on how complex these modules are. First, you're gonna search the CSS file for this uh, red color. We've used the same red color throughout the entire Divi bundle. So it's really easy for you to find. If the change in the CSS doesn't update the colors over here, then you want to go into the module and search for those individual colors over there. So first, let's go to the CSS file and let's go and search that color that we want to replace. Uh, here we've made a note of it for you as well in the top of the document. So it's uh, hash double C double zero double three. I'm just going to copy that. And then we want to find and replace in this document. So I can do control F and I'm going to click replace. I already have the Divi purple from previously. That's over there. Then I'm going to go uh, find next. I'm going to replace one just to make sure it's replacing correctly. And then I'm going to just replace all of them until they're done. And then we can close this up. We can highlight all of it again, copy that out. And then we can go to theme options once more and then go to general and scroll to the bottom. Oops, that wasn't it and just remove all of that code that's there and just add back the css click save changes now we can go back and reload this page we'll see what of that has actually been updated you'll see some of it's been updated for the most part fabulous uh, however we're missing a couple where uh, it's not been updated the icons that's what the psd is for you would need to update this um, color inside the psd or you can upload a new icon to replace these which you may want to do so let's move on and see how to update it inside of these modules so let's click edit page then we're just going to open these pricing tables the module there and then search for the red color under either content design or advanced let's have a look inside the light and see if there's an option here as you can see there's the image you just want to replace the same size image and let's see what else we've got here it doesn't seem like there's anything in these so uh, we're going to switch to the design and we're looking for that red that we want to replace nothing in there let's click on advanced search in the uh, custom codes here can we find any no, nothing in here so we can just hit save and exit uh, we do want to update one because we did see some red there so let's go through the other one nothing there let's click on design we're looking out for that red color and there it is so this is the one we want to change um, i just want to grab that divi purple quickly because we got that before let's copy that and switch back and change this there we go one of them's changed and let's switch to advanced let's quickly search for that red it's quite easy to spot you can also use your browser find and replace which is normally when you're in your browser is control f and then you can see it up at the top here then you just type in whatever you want to search for and then just find it so nothing in there we've replaced the one red one let's hit update then we can have a look a final squiz let's reload that oops that's the wrong page altogether and let's open that in a new tab and then do a final search and replace there you go this was the one that we changed fully so that's how you change the colors and that concludes this video thanks a lot for watching ciao